Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Jonathan here with a quick twin motion video. I just wanted to get some thoughts on the new twin motion 2025.2 that released in full today. Now you may have seen my other video where I did a preview of some of the features in the preview version, but now we've got the full release. Here's the trailer in the background running. You can see there's an amazing trailer. I'm very impressed by the quality of the production of the trailer that Twin Motion have actually produced here. We've got some fantastic new enhancements for things like grass as well, which is going to be something that landscape designers and architects all over the world find absolutely fantastic. I really also like things like the custom LUTs, uh, which mean that you can color grade very easily in your designs. Also, the post effects. Those are something that I've been after for a while in Twin Motion, so you can make your images look a bit more sketchy. One of my favorite new features is the static motion blur. You can see this, and I've made a new video I've got coming out soon on just that feature. There's also some really nice features, things like virtual cameras, which I think in the film industry and sort of uh, product industry they'll find really useful. Finally, we have the ability to now connect our live cameras and things like SketchUp to Twin Motion 2. We've also got some incredible new features for the configurators. Uh, also, when it comes to exporting, it's going to be a lot faster to export your different configuration options. But finally, the big feature we've all been waiting for, the introduction of Nanite from Unreal Engine is now within Twin Motion. This is an incredible new feature and what a feat of engineering. So let's break this down for you in this video. So the very first thing you want to do is just go and update the Twin Motion. It's not a massive update from the preview. It's only a gigabyte, which is pretty good as well. So that's something I'm quite pleased to see. Now, if you do go onto the Twin Motion uh, launcher, you'll notice that there's all the features of the older versions there. But here we go. We've got the new one that we can have a look at. So let's break down some of these features. Just a quick summary to get this video out for you quickly. So the big headline new feature to start with is Nanite. This is a virtualized geometry system, which basically makes it much more efficient to hold very large meshes in Twin Motion. You should expect to see your file size reduced as well as performance upgraded with this amazing feature. One of my favorite new features that I did test already uh, and did my other video on parallax windows. And basically this feature here is a really interesting feature. And basically with a flat 2D image, it really gives the impression of a much more three dimensional space. So these are incredible things that you can actually make yourselves or just drag and drop in from the library. Now, I really do love the new fog cards. It's such a simple feature, but it adds so much realism to your designs. It means that you can just drag and drop animated fog anywhere into your scenes. I think this is a really good special effect and it just means that you can kind of like produce a really atmospheric rendering with full control over things like colors and saturations as well. So let me know what you think in the comments about things like the fog. This is one of my favorite features and I definitely think it just means that we can add that atmosphere to our renders. Now Twin Motion is famous for this and it's just something that I've really enjoyed with Twin Motion. So going back to the post effects, you can see that we've now got a range of FX uh, post-processing with some really quite nice little effects, sort of watercolory, you know, almost like a kind of blueprint style, more of a kind of architectural hatchy type style as well. So it's always welcome to see these other sketch styles uh, coming into Twin Motion, and I hope to see these expanded in the future. Now, a really big standout feature is, of course, the enhanced animation abilities. With a couple of clicks, it's so simple now to explode and explain your model. So we can see this with this amazing little motorbike, all the different components being exploded and coming together. What a great way to communicate uh, product design and also architecture. You know, phasing in the furniture, falling in in this particular way, just a dream come true for architects who want to kind of explain their projects properly. So this is so easy to set up. It's something that I'll be doing uh, a video on shortly. So do make sure you like and subscribe if you'd like to catch that. So we've now also got uh, enhancement to connect our design software over to Twin Motion with live view cameras as well. So this is going to be something I'll be testing out with Vector at Scene to see how this works for you. As we said before, we've got the configurations that we can actually basically export all of them in one go now. And this makes a big difference, as well as some nice new material improvements. 
So just going back to one of my big favorite new features, the static motion blur, you know, this means that even with still images in the viewport, you can impose like a static motion blur on say people or trees waving in the wind or maybe cars to give that impression of kind of like speed. And here were some renders that I did in preparation for that new tutorial I've talked about. You can see that I did a few different renders, blurring out the car, blurring out the background and all of this very, very easy to achieve. Well, I really hope you've enjoyed this short intro to Twinmotion 2025.2. I just wanted to get this video out for you today and I will be making much more detailed videos shortly. So look forward to seeing you on the channel next time. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.